Hey guys, welcome to this episode of the Plumbers of Data Science podcast. I'm your host, Andreas Kretz. And today we are going to talk about the question, is it impossible to get a data engineer job as a fresher slash beginner slash graduate? Now, let's first talk about a bit about the problem. And then I'm going to have a few solutions for you that you can actually do. Okay, so the problem right? Beginners getting a data engineer job. Data engineer is usually a, let's say a higher job in the skills tree. Let's, let's call it the skills tree. Right? Because you need many skills um, for becoming a data engineer. But like, people are saying, okay, the immediate problem they have is they might have the skills, but they don't find the junior jobs. There are no junior jobs. It doesn't matter the country. Some say no jobs in India, uh, in US, in Europe. Very difficult. I think first we need to try to understand, okay, why are there so few data engineer jobs that are beginner jobs? Right? Now, to look at this, we need to look at two different company types. I would categorize these into startups and small business and into large corporations. Okay. And with startups, when you look at the typical startup, what are they going to need engineers for? They are going to build a tool, they're going to build a platform. What are these companies very mindful of? They need to have quick solutions. Number one, they need to ha have the solution quickly. Number two, they need experienced people for doing this quickly, effectively, and from a quality standpoint, very well. Right? They also have usually budget topics. They have their funding. They need to be mindful of, okay, if we hire someone for this, we need to hire somebody who is already up to speed, who can come in and start on the solution immediately. And as a beginner, it's a difficult task. So, of course, you need to learn as a beginner. Now, that's small business slash startup. Now, when you look at larger corporations, they also very often have that topic. They either have a project that needs immediate attention, that needs uh, solutions right now, but also on the other side, they often have some strategic projects that are more further down the road. There are more long-term projects where it's okay to um, hire a larger team because they, of course, they have the money usually. And also where the idea is, okay, let's not only hire uh, engineers that are already engineers, but also let's hire people that are juniors that we then can train and basically in the long term, maybe use also for other projects that later on. Right? So keep this in mind. That's the thing. Usually startups, small business, they need very quick solutions. They are more focused usually on having more senior people there. When for corporations, it's very often okay that they have a mix of senior or of junior people. Okay, so let's keep it with that. That's I think if you understand this, it makes sense, right? Now, with data engineering, as with many other jobs, there's a bit of the hen and egg problem, right? I can only get a data engineer job if I have experience, but I can only get experience if I have the job. So. Yes, that is absolutely real. And you need to keep this in mind. And this is a problem that a lot of people have. Now, how should you start? And getting out of this problem, of this hen and egg problem, how can you tackle this? Um, here are a few solutions to this that could help you. So first, you need to work on yourself. You need to do data projects by yourself. It doesn't matter which role it is. It doesn't matter where. You could go to my data engineering academy. If you're more interested into a certification, then get AWS certified. That's something you should start with. But remember, 
only a certification will not get you there only doing a course an online course doesn't matter where will also not get you there you need to do this and then try to apply it try to use some different um, data for instance as the base try to then figure out okay what could be a problem to solve with this data and then build the pipeline build the platform on top of it and so keep this in mind that is something very important that you do and that you then document for people to see right also start with blog posts start posting on substack start posting on linkedin try to help people who have problems like this who work on that platform let's say azure right then focus on azure get into the azure topic do a data project there look on the internet what are people saying try to teach people what you have learned where you had problems through linkedin through substack posts and so on what project should you do that's also very often a thing that people ask me andreas how should i start what project should i do what is something um, that is good for a beginner for me always important is end-to-end -end, right it should be an end-to-end -end pipeline that you build everywhere right? aws azure snowflake um gcp doesn't matter and the strategic things that i would do on these platforms is i i would use a csv data set or a json data set or both then put this into a data lake or into a file store all these platforms have that then build an etl job build the etl processing extract the data from that file transform it and then load it into a analytics data store a data warehouse like um, bigquery like redshift snowflake doesn't matter work with azure synapse and then connect the bi tool to it to actually then look at the data because this is something that a lot of people use in companies where a lot of data engineering is needed it's not only needed for the operational part of building the platform of building the the transactional system let's say from an e-commerce store it's also a lot for analytics and so with this in mind i would start with as i said Get yourself a data set build an etl job write this into an analytics store and then connect the bi tool to it boom so or you can already start with that and then you could build scheduling on top of it and then you could work on streaming and apis and so on a lot of stuff is open but i think that is one of the basis that you should do document it put it into your cv i think in my template i have the third section is uh, select the data projects first section is professional experience then is education then is select the data projects and then other stuff and in this select the data projects that you've done explain what you have done in these projects i think that is something um that is very helpful it can be very helpful right so with this you can try to get out this hand and egg problem on your own without getting a job at night after you've done whatever you need to do throughout the day boom that's it then comes the thing of okay now how do you get the job there are basically two main routes or now that i think of it actually three so the first route is internship you could say okay let's try and do this through an internship this only works though in larger companies as i said they they have a large team they very often have many departments where you can get an internship in one department and then you have access to the internal job market where you then can actually get referred to someone else in the company um, because they know you right so you, you can have somebody who can vouch for you and that is something very important which absolutely can help an internship of course it's not going to pay a lot of money but this can this can already be a very good start if it's in a large company if it's in a startup most likely difficult right so keep that in mind then the other thing is you can just start applying to data engineering jobs like a ton of data engineering jobs just apply to them if they're called junior or not apply to it 
or the other way is to search for other job roles where you are doing data engineering, but it's not called data engineer. As an example, I had a student lately who was saying, okay, I want to become an Azure data engineer, right? but I can't find Azure data engineer jobs. Junior. There are some for like experienced people role, but not for junior. One of the things that you could do is look at jobs, everything with Azure. Azure engineer, Azure developer, Azure ETL developer, Azure, whatever. A job where you are working with data on Azure, actively working on data. And from there, especially if it's in a larger company, from there you can then move up to a more experienced role, either in the same company or in another company as well. Right? So that is something I think is very important to keep that in mind. Okay, the job does not need to be uh, the data engineer immediately. You need to keep in mind you're in the job business. You need to keep in mind you are going to work for, depending on how long we work, 30, 40 years, right? So why not do an internship first for half a year? Why not work as a Azure platform developer, Azure pipeline developer, Azure ETL developer for one and a half years? In the grand scheme, does that matter? If you if you make that switch immediately, it doesn't really matter, right? So keep that in mind. Of course, when you do that job, when you are in that junior job, if you want to keep in that in that role, what would you do? You would also do some more education. Educate yourself, learn more, so that the next step is going to be easier. So you not only have the experience, maybe somebody else who vouched for you, but also have even more experience because now you can build a base in that job that is not called data engineer. You can on the side learn data engineering, for instance, through my academy and then get the next job. Right? So I think that's a, that's a good plan that will work for you. Uh, but you need, of course, you need to do it. And that's what I was talking in my last podcast. You just need to do it. Yeah. Keep that in mind. I know it's a difficult problem getting a job as a graduate, especially now in the times where uh, companies are letting people go, especially the larger companies. But there's always some jobs that need analytics for their current processes, for their current products, because they want to make more money and you're going to make more money through analytics. That's why I said do a like an ETL and analytics based pipeline. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comments or on, on Twitter or wherever you see this. Um, you can write a comment on YouTube. What do you think if that has worked for you? Um, write what job roles or job names do you find interesting? Or would you say fit to this? Yeah, I'm excited for your comments and to see what you think. See you next time.